Restored Marriage Testimony The whole crisis started at the beginning of our marriage. Today's promise. And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. Harper, how did your restoration journey actually begin? It all started when we got married. It's strange to say that the whole crisis started at the beginning of our marriage, but it's the purest truth. I'll try to summarize the whole story because it's long. We got married and even the wedding was a lot of tests, but thanks to God for this being his will, we got married. But already in the first month of marriage, there was a lot of tribulation in our relationship and my husband James got married for the first time. Unfortunately, there were another four times he left, and it was about a year later after James left for the last time that I found out where the error was. Tired and even hopeless from so many comings and goings and so many frustrated attempts to keep James at home and my marriage that in an act of desperation, I bent my knees and prayed to the Lord, asking him to do his will because I discovered that in my own way, nothing could. I thanked my beloved Heavenly Husband, who inclined me to read the book, How God Can and Will Restore Your Marriage, which I already had, but I hadn't read it. As soon as I started reading and I was devouring the pages of the book, it was like a bucket of water. Cold water was poured over my head and I could see the whole situation as it really was. Until then, It was as if I had a blindfold over my eyes, and the villain of the story was James. Most praise be to my Lord who opened my eyes through the book. As I went through the book, all my mistakes I was seeking the Lord and taking steps for my change. The Lord sustained me, literally and truly. Each discovery I tried to portray myself with my beloved Lord, because everything that had happened was nothing more than my adultery against my true love. I sought him with all my heart and he led me to write what was wrong. How did God change your situation, Harper, as you sought him wholeheartedly? As I sought him with all my heart, he guided me to obey all the principles I had broken. I discovered that I was the one walking against the hand of God. I thought I was the owner of the truth full of reason and holiness, and I was really nothing more than a Pharisee. I was foolish, rich, contentious, manipulative, and without affection. I humiliated James and thought I was doing God a favor. I had no respect for him. I did not give him the honor I should have, and I thought that I had to dictate how things should be for him. Again, silly and worst of all. What principles from God's Word or through our resources did the Lord teach you during this trial, Harper? During my journey, I learned many things. Despite already knowing the Word of God, it was as if I could not see anything. It was through the ministry that I learned and saw each principle. Letting go was the first and primary principle that I learned because in every process of comings and goings with James, at all times, I insisted and persisted in staying close to him, going through a lot of humiliation, but even so I continued. After I let go physically and in my heart, the Lord took care of every detail, of everything. I never asked anything of James. I never looked for him for anything, but I always looked and trusted my beloved Heavenly Husband in everything and for everything and they were the most wonderful months I've ever had with him. It was also an essential principle I learned, and I learned every day to submit, to renounce myself, to love and serve my family as my Lord teaches me, all the principles that I discovered that I violated. I seek diligence to fully obey, thanks to my beloved Heavenly Husband. What were the most difficult times that God helped you through, Harper? The most difficult moment was when 
another woman was confirmed, receiving a call from her saying that James was her husband. That was very painful, but my beloved heavenly husband and Lord helped me as Aaron teaches. I remained quiet without saying more than I should and politely said goodbye to the person. The Lord sustained me at all times. It made me stronger and with a lot of faith. Harper, what was the turning point of your restoration? The turning point was when James, after a long time, started looking for my mother-in-law and talking about me to her, saying that he loved me and that he couldn't stand being away from me anymore. He told her to tell me something he had never done before. He was never one to show feelings, let alone speak. From then on, he asked her for my contact, and a few days later, James called me and said everything to me. I rejoiced with joy. I felt from the Lord that the day was coming, but always waiting and trusting in the Lord, because since the beginning of my journey, James was looking for me and showed a desire to come back, but never really came back. So I didn't expect anything from James, but from the Lord. It was then that he spoke about the desire to come back. Tell us how it happened, Harper. Did James just walk in the front door? Harper, did you suspect or could you tell you were close to being restored? It so happened that after James looked for me and showed a desire to come back, a few days passed and thanks to my beloved Lord, James really came back. James is at home. It was impossible in the eyes of man. How many times did I hear that there was no way out and that it was for me to go on with my life without waiting for it to happen? More praise be my beloved heavenly husband, my Lord, who was with me and sustained me until the end. And today I can tell all the women, the Lord can and will restore your marriage. Don't doubt it, just believe. Wait and trust, he can and will. With men it is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Would you recommend any of our resources in particular that helped you, Harper? I definitely recommend all the books and courses, but especially the books How God Can and Will Restore Your Marriage and A Wise Woman. They were guidance for me. Would you be interested in helping encourage other women, Harper? Sure, yes. Either way, Harper, what kind of encouragement would you like to leave women with in conclusion? Beloved, do not give up or be discouraged. All things cooperate for the good of those who love God. So trust in all situations. He works in favor of those who believe. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Do not look at the circumstances or listen to people. Unbelievers, just look to the Lord. Fall in love with Him and you will have the best days of your lives. He is faithful and true.